Galatians 2 is how the believer is made right with God. Na yung mga false teachers that were telling that um, Galatian churches that faith in Christ was not enough to be saved. They said that believers must also be circumcised and become Jewish only then would they be holy right with God. So if in yung ablihan in yung um, Bible there are sa Galatians 2 chapter 15 to 16 is Paul, si Paul counters that idea. He who are Jews by birth and not sinful Gentiles know that a person is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith in Jesus Christ so we do have put our faith in Christ Jesus that we may not be justified by faith and Christ and not by the works of the law because by the works of the law no one will be justified. So niingon si Paul Dara that through the law I died to the law so that I might live for God. So naana Dara so Galatians 2 verse 19. So while Paul was trying to please and keeping the law he was not really living for God. The more he tried to keep the law the more he saw how much he failed. So it was only when he gave up um, to achieve righteousness on his own and accepted the righteousness of God in God by faith in Christ that he truly began living for God. So the verse verse 20 explains it and verse 20 is one of the great verses in the Bible. I have been crucified with Christ. So how did you die to the law? I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. So if pangutanong tamo, do you see any law in that verse? So there, there is a verse that, that defines what is to be a Christian. So unsa today, what is to be a Christian? You have been crucified with Christ. You have been risen with Christ. It is no longer you and it's Christ living in you. Ingnan yung kaugalingan. It is Christ living in me. The life which you now live, you don't live under the law, but you live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So niingon si Paul, I live in love for the Savior who loved me and gave himself up for me. I live in a complete trust and out of that trust comes loving obedience. So what do you mean I've been crucified with Christ? So on sa ibot, pasabot anak, I have been crucified with Christ. The reason God can justify the one who has faith in Jesus is that Jesus paid in full the penalty for that believers. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. Amen? So on the cross,